Soulmen has a very, very long history. As long as I can remember, I've been eating soulmen during summertime. It's usually served cold and it's a really great noodle. Soulmen is something that I feel like a lot of non-Japanese people wouldn't recognize. But this is a staple dish in Japan during the summertime. I can't even remember how many times I ate soulmen for my lunch. It's very affordable and everyone can make a home. This is something you won't usually see at restaurants. It's something you will see in home cooking. It's super easy and it only takes two to three minutes to boil. My mom makes a lot during summertime. It's very refreshing. It's a very quick meal to fix. So I think it's a noodle for busy people. Soma is very thin and it's also dried, so it has a good shelf life. Usually it's served with mentsuyu, so simple soma is just mentsuyu with scallion. For this tasty Japan video, they made four different varieties of dipping sauce. The most fun memory about Soulman that I have, again, it's during summer camp in Japan. We make a slide made out of bamboo. So you cut bamboo in half and remove all the segments, so you are making giant long slide. Then you pour water and slide the Soulman along with it, and you're gonna catch the Soulman with your chopsticks. I'm really good at picking Soulman noodles. I don't know. So it's a little bit tricky because soma is sliding in front of you, so you have to catch it very quickly, but I was very good at it. Also during the summer camp, we made a dipping cup and bamboo chopsticks. That style of soma is called nagashi soma. It's just like a very fun activity. You can make slide and playing with noodles. Okay. I think you can also find those kind of restaurants in Japan. It's really cool. I wanted to recreate that experience here with Hitomi from Nifty, who is my work wife. We've been talking about for years, but we haven't executed it. We should really do it and make a video out of it. For this recipe, one of the ingredients is umeboshi, which is like Japanese pickled plum. It's super sour, but it's very addictive for me. When I think about umeboshi, it's like when you look at lemon and you salivate or your mouth feels a little strange. We use it for rice balls and noodles. Especially with cold noodles, I think it gives a nice kick to the noodle dish. Also grated radish and umeboshi is a golden combination. It's like pork and kimchi and peanut butter and jelly. Umeboshi and grated radish is a great flavor combination that has been used for a very long time. Have you had so many before? If you have, let me know. If you haven't, go try it, make a home, and tell me what you think.